Hello guys, uh, greetings from Zanzibar. Finally, it is not too sunny and I can actually film something for you on a beach. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. What are we going to talk today? Today we are going to talk about a really important cliché, a really male cliché, though some females struggle with it as well. This cliché says that the only qualities that you actually have to pay attention on when you are looking for a life partner is the perfect age of the life partner and the perfect looks. So often when gentlemen describe a perfect match to me, they speak about uh, really many qualities that they would like to see in a partner, but when we start the process or when, for example, I ask a gentleman to complete a little homework to understand the type of the lady he is looking for, the only qualities that the gentleman is actually paying attention on are the age and the looks. If, for example, the lady is several years older uh, than the perfect age that the gentleman has created in his mind, out of a sudden he says that he is not interested and he is not looking anymore at her profile and he doesn't want to hear any other qualities that this lady has. Or for example, if the gentleman doesn't like the photos, uh, he said that I'm not interested because I don't feel any physical attraction to the photo and that's it. But let's think about the long-term uh, relationship. Let's think about the long-term strategy. Is it actually smart to choose a life partner based on this criteria only? So often in the comments, gentlemen claim that in my video blog, I use a female perspective. Guys, I use a matchmaking perspective. I work both with gentlemen and with ladies, and I can speak only from my experience, from what I have observed while working with singles for more than 10 years already. Like all this, I will explain it to you an example. Let's say a gentleman who is 38 and who has worked hard his whole life and now by 38 he has a quite impressive career, he's financially stable and now he feels that it is the right time for him to settle down, to get married, to have kids, or to have a house with white fans. That's what he's looking for. And when we are talking during the first consultation, the gentleman is describing to me that in the next three or five years uh, he sees himself married with a beautiful younger lady by his side as his wife and having at least one child. So that's his plan for the next five years. And in his dreams he sees a lady who is 23 or 25 uh, as his wife by his side. Why 23 or 25? First of all, in the mind of this gentleman this is the best age to have babies and also they can date for a year or two and she will still be very young. And also uh, he believes that a girl who is like 23 or 25, yes, uh, she will give him extra bonuses in the eyes of the society because look at him, he is 38, he is successful and he has managed to attract a much younger girl. In theory this logic sounds quite reasonable and you can tell that a gentleman by 38 is really young so it shouldn't be a problem for him to attract a girl who is 23 or 25. I will explain to you uh, where I see problems. Yes, really, a girl who is 23 or 25, not all of them, but some of them, uh, can really be wowed by a gentleman who is 38. Because he is life experienced, because he is still good looking, because he is established and he can take her to the places where boys your age can't take her. And for many ladies it would be quite a good reason, strong reason, to be willing to date him. But if we are talking about the long-term perspective, are they on the same page? Unfortunately, no. The fact that the lady is 23 and in the eyes of the gentleman this is the perfect age to have babies, it doesn't mean that this same lady wants to have babies in the next three to five years. Think about yourself when you were 23. In Ukraine, usually people graduate universities when they are 21, 22 to 23. So let's say at 23 she has just graduated the university a year ago and in the majority of cases the lady still lives with her parents and she is still financially dependent on her parents. So probably she is looking for her first job. Uh, unlike the popular cliche that ladies in Ukraine enter universities uh, to get married or to hunt for a husband, it is not so. Uh, to study five years, to study hard for five years, just to uh, later on uh, get married and have a baby straight away. This sounds like a huge disappointment for many ladies and for many families. So at 23, uh, the girl, she can probably think about having kids and when you ask her, do you want to have kids? She will tell you like, yes, I want to have kids someday, one day. 
maybe in eight years, maybe in 10 years, after I build a career, after I travel the world, after I try to start my business. So many things she wants to try. So the problem will occur not on the first date when a 38 years old guy is wowing at 23 years old with all the places he has seen, with his career, with all the books he has read, and even with his knowledge in wine and dishes. The problems will occur later on when her plans for the next three to five years will include traveling, exploring the world, uh, learning salsa, learning Chinese, uh, learning Japanese, uh, starting a career, starting a business, and his plan is marriage, having babies, and settling down. This is where they will face a huge disappointment. She, because in her mind, he is boring, he is too old, with his adult wishes to get married and have kids and he because in his mind she's immature she doesn't know what she wants uh, she doesn't understand the value of money of course she does not because she doesn't have the same life experience as you do so so often when gentlemen ask me what is the most important aspect i have to pay attention at when i'm looking for a life partner i tell him that you have to think about the type of relationship you are willing to have you have to think about your long-term plans for the next three, five, ten years. And you have to think if the lady you're at the date right now is thinking the same way. If what you want is something she wants. We have introduced many wonderful couples when the lady is in her late 30s, early 40s. And the gentleman is in his late 40s, so they have about seven, ten years of an age gap. And I really love such couples because in the majority of cases, uh, ladies at this age, they really want to have a baby and she wants to get married. She has built a successful career or she has uh, achieved some other dreams, fulfilled some other dreams. And right now she knows that next five years she wants marriage, baby, uh, white fence and cozy evenings uh, with the family circle, tasty dinners. And many gentlemen in this uh, age group, like late 40s, uh, they were too busy with their life to uh, build a career, to get the education, to pay the student loans, to do all that stuff. And finally, they are ready to settle down. So for them, they want to have babies like next year. And I have met uh, my ex-client. He is now in his early 50s. And when I have started working with him, it was five years ago. He was in his late 40s and uh, his wife she was in her late 30s and now they have three kids uh the first uh, kid it's the daughter of the lady from the first marriage and two kids they had together and i was joking with my client that uh, really like uh, you're not going to stop like with three kids and he said that yes uh, he couldn't believe it that five years ago he was single uh, with no girlfriend, with no wife, with no kids, and now he's married and has three kids. Because from the moment we have introduced that couple on their very first date, they were on the same page. Career was not a priority for them anymore because they were both successful in their careers. They wanted to have a family, they wanted to have kids, they wanted to have family vacation, uh, they wanted to have kids birthday they wanted to have all these and they wanted to have it within the next five years so this is why it works so well for this couple and like for many other couples so when you start choosing a lady on a dating site or on tinder choosing by liking her photos or making assumptions uh, that she will be a perfect mother because you like her clothes her breast her eyes her age uh, pay attention on important stuff after all if you meet in person and your plans for the next three to five years do not align you are not on the same page about these plans it won't matter if she has perfect blue eyes or she's like 15 years younger it is important that you are looking for the same things it is important that you share similar vision about relationship about the role of the lady and the gentleman in relationship about desire to have and not to have kids about career about money there are so many important aspects that you have to pay attention at uh, if you want to have a harmonious a real strong healthy relationship and it's not just about the looks and the age so many gentlemen think that 25 is the perfect age for the lady to have babies you miss an important point the fact that she is 25 doesn't guarantee that she wants to have babies in the next five or seven years and it doesn't guarantee that she will be willing to have these babies with you in the next five to seven years. 
Yes, she might be intrigued to date you, maybe on a date or two, uh, maybe even for a few months. But if you are thinking long term, uh, will you be on the same page in six months, in a year, in two years? Many gentlemen say that, okay, she will change her mind because of me, because I'm me, 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 I'm this guy, so I will push her to uh, live my dreams. Guys, it's not going to happen. It won't make neither you nor her happy. So if you are looking for a life partner, pay attention on more important stuff. Physical attraction is important, but after all, beauty comes in a huge complex of factors. It's a set, it's a package deal. Her personality, her attitude to life, her attitude to you, uh, her attitude to relationship, to money, to many important aspects. And blonde hair and blue eyes, it's just a tiny piece of uh, all the qualities that you should be paying attention on while looking for a partner. I wish you love. I hope you have enjoyed the beautiful view behind me, the beautiful ocean. This love, Svetlana Mucha from Diole.com.